So in the past few years, I've unboxed a lot of motorcycles. I've unboxed weird motorcycles. I've unboxed 40 year old time capsule motorcycles that were brand new. And I've unboxed things from Amazon. But this one is special because this one, this one comes from you. Me? A fan sent this to me and I have no idea what's actually in it. And I can't wait. And I'm hoping, one, I'm, I was told it's a motorcycle. How is that possible? I don't know. Two, I hope it's not a bomb. Three, I hope it's not a puppy. This actually has been sitting here for about two months. And if it's a puppy, we got some problems. Let's, uh, let's open it up. And there's only one way to open up a motorcycle box. Chainsaw me, man. They're on to me. I got a backup plan. Ben, bring over the backup plan. Thanks, sir. This is your leg. Ah, you know what, this is probably a better idea than this. Uh-oh. Pretend dog, you hold up, you guys gotta see this. Big reveal. I still don't know what it is. How awesome is that? That is so cool. It can charge your phone? This guy spent some time on this. Sank straps. So as I open up this box filled with very clever Easter eggs, like this tag on the zip tie that says chainsaw here, I realized that, I don't know what it is. I, I, I still don't know what it is. I, it looks like a Moto Compo. Moto Beardo? Moto Beardo? It looks like a Moto Compo, but it's huge. I, I, maybe, are Moto Compos that big? I've never seen one in my life. They're not that big on the computer screen. Craig, have you been here this whole time? This whole time. We gotta get this thing out of here, Craig. Oh, oh man. Oh, it oh. hurts, it hurts so bad. Dude, the only, the only proper Yo, thing- Yo, that's lighting up. Yeah, how is that lighting what? up? What? This whole thing is just full of tricks. The box has its own battery to keep everything going. This is some straight up wizardry. Yeah, it is. I've been wanting a Moto Compo for a long time. I don't think this is a Moto Compo. I don't know what this is. So at first glance, this would appear to be a custom Moto Compo. And for those of you who have never heard of the Moto Compo, it was never released in America. And it was made to fit inside the back of a Honda City, which is a smaller version of the Honda Civic. They're so rare that I've never actually seen one, but I'd love to get one. But this looks too big to be a Moto Compo. And if you haven't noticed by now, I love saying Moto Compo. Moto Compo, Moto Compo, Moto Compo. Open first. Open first. I feel like if you wanted us to open it first, you'd have put that on the top. Oh, crate, bike. I can change colors. I thought it was meant to fit in like the trunk of some car. Right, not the trunk of a truck. So far it's amazing is what it is. It is. Did this guy custom make a moto, a large size moto compo? You seeing this? That's the, the headlight or that's the, that's the headlight. Look, it flips down, nice and clean and sleek, magnets up. That's crazy. Genius. <laughs> look at, look in there. Man handle. <laughs> okay, so I think it's clear. I, I no, nothing is clear yet. I was gonna say, it's clear we have no idea. Slide oh that. no, look what happened here. Did this happen in shipping? It could have just been. Oh wait, is that 3D printed? I don't know, it looks like this melted though. Did that? Uh, maybe it did, on his test ride. And then I discovered a very interesting surprise. There's a Nerf gun mounted inside here. Okay, well that explains the box that I just opened. Look, it shoots Nerf guns. It's a spy car, <laughs> a spy bike. It's the greatest, most epic Nerf battle bike. Found the axle. In there? Look, nope, it's right here. Okay, so there's the brake. What's that down there? The Chick-fil-A. Oh, you see what this is? 
Look. Is that a cup holder? Cup holder, <laughs> nice. Now you can have Chick-fil-A wherever you go. By now I'm starting to realize the magnitude of what is sitting in front of me. I'm starting to decode what this bike really is. This thing started life as maybe a 49cc Honda Metro. What do you think, Craig? I think that could be a thing. That fits the wheel size, that looks like... <laughs> it's like <a> <laughs> 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 This is legit. This is awesome. This thing's legit. Uh, find, did you find the hub? No, not yet. Missile reload instructions. Yes. The seat goes down. The seat what? comes up. Up. Wow. <laughs> Specifications. Yes, it has them. Nice, I love specifications. <laughs> Horse purrs, not much. Front tire, front and rear tire pressures, <laughs> 193,053 Pascals. That sounds about right. Wheelbase is one millimeter shorter than a Motocampo. Really? Yeah. As I continued to unpack this amazing machine, I started to realize that the person who made this was clearly a diehard Bikes and Beards fan and a super genius, the Tony Stark of bikes and beards. Right here is the verse of the day. Proverbs 27, 17. Iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. That's a good Bible verse. All right, let's put that, put that on. So me and Craig have made our share of really cool builds, like the world's worst jet ski or the most dangerous lawnmower known to man. But nothing compares to the engineering that went into this little thing. And the big question we all have on our mind is, who is this guy? Who built this? Hey, if people want to send me motorcycles, that sounds fun. And if people want to send me custom built motorcycles, that's even more fun. <laughs> Break it, we just got it. I tried to crush my hand. There we go. There's a good chance that we are the messiest unboxers there are. All right, so I know there's instructions, but I don't really want to get them out. Yeah, I'm not really looking to do any reading. Look, these just automatically pop in. Did he make these? Or is this a product that someone else... Look at this, look at this, look at this. It's got fire missile buttons on the thing. What? Like legit, like, like they say like, they say fire missiles. As soon as we learn how to hook them up. We are gonna fire missiles. That is crazy. So it's like one of those things we always dream about building, but we never would or will. We just all the time. This is so cool. This is amazing. Why was that thing all loose? What were you doing up there that made things look loose? What? Were you shaking? What were you shaking up there? Well, with this? Yeah. Oh, which is not connected. Oh, I gotcha, gotta, I gotta gotcha. Pull, oh, you it to goes through that pin. All right. Put that guy in there. Put that pin. Let me, let me take a pause real quick. I gotta say, as of right now, there's been more thought and quality put into this thing than almost any bike we've ever bought from China. Like, like hands down. Is that it? Are we done? There's still some stuff in that box. All right, let's pop that box open. Check this out. I feel like we're gonna find a piece for in here. A Pikachu? It's <laughs> Amagachi? <laughs> oh no, he's pooping on the floor. First of all, I can just imagine that this guy's wife was like, why are you wasting your time building that, <laughs> building that <laughs> thing? Years. We know who this guy is, right? Is that his channel, Sparky? Here, let's open up this stuff yet. Let's see what we have. All right, we got more darts. More missiles, gonna need those. Assembly instructions. We're gonna need adult supervision, apparently. Oh, here we go. Here's that piece we were looking for. This goes. <laughs> Take a whiff, make a memory. Oh yeah. That's what we say, isn't it? it smells like smoke. Hold on, hold on, smell the stinker. Smell the stinker. Yep, it's it's a stinker. Wait, wait, it will pee you. Yep, smells like burnout. Ben, smell them. Scratch them, smell them. So then we decided to call the builder and trick him. He goes by the name of? This is Dallas. Dallas, hey, this is uh, Sean from Bikes and Beards. Hey, I got bad news, man. The box fell off the truck and then another truck ran it over. Can you send us another one? Oh yeah, I'll whip one right up, no problem. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, man. Dude, we're, we're opening this thing up. This is insane. Dude, how far are you into it? Uh, we pulled the seat up. We got the, we got the seat on. We got the, 
You have the, it out of the box. Yeah, we got the handlebar up. Dude, even the box was nuts. The box was all lit up. Oh, you know how long I've been planning this? I, I, I'm looking at 17 years, maybe? Probably, probably. Dude, this is crazy. I had the idea, like, I don't know, six, eight months ago, I'm like, I should make a Komodo Compo. Dude, you, you you did it. mentioned it in the YSR video, and Dude. I love YSRs. I've, had, I've got more to build on my channel. Dude, I've been dying to get a moto compo forever. This is crazy. Have you ever had one? No, never seen one, never had one. <laughs> never seen one, it's like pretty good. <laughs> hey, question for you. Did you 3D print this uh, engine uh, exhaust guard? No, that is the original one. Oh, how did it get no, melt? Just... Was it melted when you had it or did we melt it? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to show you. Did this, what, what was this, a Metro? Yeah, it was a metro. So after talking to Dallas, we found out that he will be posting a build video for this bike. So after this video is done, go check it out. He also told me that there's a few more surprises on this bike that we need to find. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, the lower it gets though. There we go. Wow, that feels good, dude. Craig's special place. Ooh. Does this bike need all of those? I hope not. <laughs> it's a really nice case though. He knows my organization. It's so cool. Are we ready to fire it up? Does it have e-start? Uh, There's a key. Yeah, right here. Look like he made those. Zip these pegs. Yeah, yeah. custom gnarled those pegs. Milled them out. Ah! No! What'd you do? It pinched me. Yeah, it got, got me good. Oh my god. You hurt yourself with the pliers, so now you're gonna pull out a knife? Yeah, because that's how I roll. Dad gum. Check it out. Look at this. Yo. There's lights on the side too. Just black Craig Sin over there. <laughs> There's a cocker underneath, I believe. Pull the charging handle. Oh, okay. Pump it. There we go. Lever it. There we go. Ah, yeah! They're, they're even pulling it in a little bit. Watch, right in his face. Whoa! <laughs> Holy mackerel! That is so cool. How did he do it? it? Sounds like a pinball machine. All right, hold on. Before, be, before we fire this thing up, let's just spend a little bit of time and find all the Easter eggs. He spent a lot of time putting this thing together. One, bob verse inside there. Craig, what do you say this was for? The seat? Yeah, that comes... Pull that out, and then that goes through this hole here. Hold on, you have to just slide front, like there. Okay, all right. California Moto Beardo. Man handle. We got the Chick-fil-A, so I can cruise and have my, put my sandwich, put my shake or my drink in here, put my fries right there. Isn't it, it's fries, nuggets, dipping sauce. Mmm, look at the sweet light. I mean, like the attention to detail is just insane. Paint job's really nice. I think it's a wrap. Oh, is it? I think it's a wrap, yeah. The wrap is really nice. Nice wrap job. Bikes and Beards logo on Even the painted the wheels. Custom pegs and peg mounts. So look, he, so, like, so this piece right here, this like intake piece, would be a, would be bigger. Oh yeah, that's cool, yep. So he had to trim this down and then like cut a piece of plastic that was fit. Put, put it on there, you see that? But that's very next level stuff. Train horn. Train horn, hopefully it's 300 decibels. <laughs> 510 hertz. 510 hertz, yeah. Stand by, you ready? Nice. That's a nice horn. Nice. I beam, that maybe something else needs plugged in. Beam it up, Craig. Do it, Craig. <laughs> That's the Look turn that. signals. Those are the turn signals. No. -uh. Uh -huh. Look, ready? Yeah. Left. You're right. Right. That's so cool. I don't know how legal that is, but it's really, really cool. That is awesome. And it's got back rear turn signals. Wait, wait, wait. Do the rear turn signals. That's the rear turn signal. So what? if you go left, it goes the other way. Oh my God. And if you hit the brakes. Wow, this thing is legit. We ready to fire this thing up? Uh, we need to tighten the front axle yet. Right, let's do that. <laughs> But the question is, how well does it handle deep water? Craig, 
caution, while horse purse are low, wheelies can be had even by your mom. This is due to high butt to axle ratio. Yup, I see that. All right, we ready to do this? Let's do something. So before we see if this thing can fire up, I know exactly what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, this thing would be great to take off-road. And you're right, I love off-roading, even though I'm not that good at it and I always get hurt. But here's my problem. It seems like everyone else seems to know where all the good trails, secret riding places are. And I don't know any of them. And I'm always concerned that I'm gonna get arrested for trespassing like I did when I was in high school. But not anymore, because our sponsor on X Off-Road can show you all these amazing trails anywhere. Great for dirt bikes and side-by-sides and adventure bikes and large four-wheel drive vehicles and even those awful ATVs. Rider. So it helps you find the trail and it shows you what type of vehicle can fit and everything else you might need to know about the trail, including the trail name, the length of the trail, the surface type, the weather, and if you can legally drive on it. It also tells you who owns the property and where you are on that said property. So if you get accused of being on someone else's land, when you're actually on public property where you can legally be, you can show them, be like, hey, look, this is not your land. A Jeff owns this land. I got them to give you guys a free week to try it out. And if you like it, use my discount code BEARDS for 20 off. Click on the link below to check this thing out. It is a really cool app. You're gonna like it. Let's see if we can get this thing fired up. Taking a whiff may cause memory loss. All right, we have fuel on. Okay. Should we put this on? Yeah, you might as well. We need the whole package. The whole kit and caboodle? This is more well put together than the Pulse Auto Cycle. This is more well put together than about 98% of the stuff we've built. All right, see how many kicks. This is a Honda, remember. Oh wait, we might have to put hold the brake on. <laughs> Does this work? Amazing. Yes. <laughs> Look at that, Dan. Turn my mini GPS on. Wait, let me see it. Mini GPS. Hey Dan, go out in front, don't go like in front of the thing and like get down a little bit and get that dope angle. <laughs> Can't believe I fell for that. <laughs> Classic Dan. I feel like I'm driving a cooler. Deep down inside, I know I said I always wanted like a, a bulldozer for Christmas. I think this is what I wanted for Christmas to be honest. Oh, wait a second. There's one thing we gotta do before we ride it. It's the only appropriate thing for us to do. We gotta wipe it down. M1 Moto Fast Detailer. The only fast detailer that I use to clean bikes that were custom built. The cool thing about the M1 Moto Spray is you can spray on anything. Chrome, painted surfaces, black stuff, 3D printed things, seats. Available on Amazon and our website. All right, let's go ride this thing. <laughs> this thing is amazing. Watch this bit. <laughs> well, I gotta admit, because this is the uh, Moto Beardo, this is not only the best handling motorcycle I've ever ridden. It's also definitely a motorcycle, not a scooter. And it's the fastest, best braking, best everything, everything I've ever ridden in my entire life. <laughs> now, this is faster than my turbocharged Road King. Yeah! Wow. But there's one question that I have, and let's go, uh, let's go find that out right now. But well, before we go and do that, I'm gonna see if this thing can wheelie. <laughs> Nailed that wheelie. Wheelies for days. But the big question that I needed to know was, how many people can I hit with darts at the Chick-fil-A line?
No, it's gas. Hold on a second, hold on a second. <laughs> Let me get the meal and I'll take wa waffle fries. Yep, thank you. My pleasure. Old ride net today, huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's quite a nice deal there. You like? Is that a bite? Cust yeah, custom made. Yep. works. Check it. Thank you. Don't fit. The drink one works. I think my fries might be too big. Oh yeah, that works too. Yes, there we go. Looks like everything's coming up Millhouse. We'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. Look at that action. <laughs> yeah.